Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Tricky Maths Part 2. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. Tricky Maths Part 2 this lesson will be about using the number 4 to generate the integers from 6 to 10. And here is the first task. Use the number 4 exactly 4 times in a number sentence to generate the number 6. You are permitted to use any mathematical operation or symbols, but no other numbers. Okay, I wonder how you're going to go with this one. Now, let's look at the answer on the next slide. This is a very, very tricky one because it involves a very special operation. Now, here's the answer. 4 factorial divided by 4. Now, you need to know what this sign... I mean, it's the exc exclamation sign, but... As far as mathematics goes, this is called the factorial sign. And what 4 factorial means is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? So 4 factorial is actually 24. Now, when you divide that by 4, that gives you 6. If you add 4, that gives you 10. And then you take 4 away, and you're back to 6. But the clue to this puzzle is understanding what this means, 4 factorial, and how to use it. The second task. Use the number 4 exactly 4 times in a number sentence to generate the number 7. You are permitted to use any mathematical operation or symbols, but no other numbers. The answer on the next slide. And the answer, 4 factorial divided by 4 plus 4 divided by 4. And that gives you 7. The third task. Use the number 4 exactly 4 times in a number sentence to generate the number 8. And the rules are the same as before. Let's look at the answer on the next slide. This one's a little bit tricky, but when you actually see the answer, it's quite obvious. The square root of 4 plus the square root of 4 plus the square root of 4 plus the square root of 4. And that gives you 8. Quite obvious when you see the answer. The fourth task. The rules are exactly the same. This time you have to generate the number 9. Let's look at the answer on the next slide. The answer is 4 divided by 4 plus 4 plus 4 and that gives you 9. And the fifth and final task for this video. The rules are exactly the same. This time we have to generate the number 10. Let's look at the answer. 4 plus 4 plus 4 minus the square root of 4 and that gives you 10. I hope you enjoyed those tasks. Some of them were quite challenging weren't they? If you enjoyed this video Please subscribe on the next slide and you will receive a notification as to when the next, vi next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.